sister? Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I'm a converted. Past three months, uh, I've converted into Islam. Uh, there's just one question that keeps coming to my mind about the non-vegetarian part of Islam. Uh, could you please explain me the significance of sacrifice and is it a must that a Muslim who does not take non-vegetarian is not a Muslim? The sister has a question that why do Muslims have non-veg and can a Muslim be a Muslim if he does not have non-vegetarian food? Is it further than Islam? Sister, a Muslim can be a very good Muslim even by being a pure vegetarian. It's not further than Islam that you should have non-veg. There's no verse in the Quran that you should have non-veg or no hadith in which the Prophet said, if you don't have non-veg, you're not a Muslim. Or being a Muslim, you should follow the four criteria, Iman, righteous deeds, fatwa sabih, fatwa sabih, sabr, you go to Jannah. There's no criteria that you should have non-veg. But you ask me the question, what is the logic that we have non-veg? Regarding the second part, you can be a good Muslim even by being a pure vegetarian. It's not further. But what is the logic? The logic is if Allah has given his permission to have non-veg, why should we not have it? Allah says in the Quran in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 1, lawful for you is the meat of the four-footed animal with the exception named. Allah repeats the message in Surah Nahal, chapter 16, verse number 5, that you can have the meat of the animals. Allah repeats in Surah Mu'minun, chapter number 23, verse number 21, that verily in the cattle is a sin for you. We give you to drink from what is within the body. From it you get warmth and of the meat you can eat. So if Allah has given permission, why should we not have? Now scientifically if you analyze, that the flesh food is rich in protein and vitamin K. Normally our body requires amino acid, 23 amino acids, out of which eight essential amino acids which are not synthesized in the body which have to be given by external diet. There is no vegetable food which has all the eight essential amino acids. No, no vegetable food. Even the soya bean, it is only the flesh food, meat, mutton, beef, fish, which have all the eight amino acids. So it is nutritious. Coming to the logical aspect of it. If we analyze the set of teeth of the herbivorous animals, which only have grass, which do not touch flesh food, cow, goat, sheep, they have a herbivorous set of teeth, they have flat teeth. If we analyze the set of teeth of the carnivorous animals, which only have flesh food, lion, tiger, leopard, they have pointed set of teeth, they have a canine set of teeth, they have a carnivorous set of teeth. If we analyze our set of teeth and we go and look in the mirror, Almighty God gives the flat teeth as well as pointed teeth. If Almighty God wanted us to have only vegetables, why did he give us the pointed teeth? For what? <laughs> For having known which. Furthermore, the digestive system of the herbivorous animal, the cow, goat, sheep, it can only digest vegetables, it cannot digest fresh food. The digestive system of the carnivorous animals, lion, tiger, leopard, can only digest flesh food, it cannot digest grass and vegetables. But the digestive system of the human being can digest both vegetables as well as flesh food. If Almighty God wanted us to be pure vegetarian, why did he give us a digestive system that can digest both? To have it. Assalamu alaikum.